What up, though? Yo, guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my entire sneaker collection. Now, I've been collecting sneakers for the past eight years, and yeah, let me just say, it's an addiction. But yo, let's hop straight into this and not waste any time. So first up right here, we're gonna start it off with the Jordan 1. And by the way, I'm showing these in no order, but I thought it'd be right for the first shoe, Jordan 1 for number one. Yeah, but yo, right here, first up, we got the Jordan 1 Bread Toes. This is such a nice Jordan 1. I absolutely love the leather on these. The colorway on these things are beautiful. And surprisingly, after wearing these for so long, like, they don't crease too, too bad. I haven't actually wore these in a long time. I mean, I love this colorway, but I don't know what it is. I don't usually rock Jordan 1s too, too much, but when I do... It must be a good day. But next up right here, we're going with another Jordan 1. These right here are the Jordan 1 Dark Mochas. These things I do wear like all the time. They're definitely pretty used and pretty beat. I just love the colorway on these. I love how simple they are. The suede is beautiful on these things. Plus the leather is amazing. And I think the reason why I wear these things so much is because of all the outfits that I put together, this colorway is just made for me. I actually ended up getting these pretty close to when they first released. They were slightly used, but I got them for a really good price. And I just had to pull the trigger because this right here is honestly probably one of my favorite Jordan 1s. And since we're on Jordans right now, let's bring these guys out. These right here are the off-white Jordan 4s. This shoe is just beautiful. The colorway, uh. The material, uh. The quality, uh. Plus off-white with the hang tag? All right, that's enough. Uh. This is actually like the second pair of Jordan 4s that I've owned. I don't really rock Jordan 4s that that much. Plus, after wearing these for a little bit, I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's women's sizing on these. They end up hurting my feet after a little bit. I don't know if that's all Jordan 4s, but honestly, the max is like six hours for me in these. Walking around with these for about eight hours? No, your, your toes are bleeding. Next up, in my opinion, I think this is like the sneaker of the year. And uh, let me tell you guys about these at the shop. Now, let's talk about the sneaker of the year and the best buying platform of the year which is today's sponsor, Poison. Now, Poison's a fun and great way how to buy hype sneakers, especially when you can get them for such a great price. They have some of the best prices and the best deals for the holidays right now. And let me just show you what they sent me. We got these right here. And straight away hopping into the box, you can see they have a certificate of authenticity. But yo, check these out right here. We got the Jordan 4 SB. And since it's Christmas, they have a ton of discounts on their site right now. And you can enjoy up to $50 off using these codes on Poison right now. So if you spend more you pretty much save more and these codes just don't have to be used on their fire drops but also the most recent releases but these codes are extremely limited and they end december 22nd so if you wanted to use them i would hop on quick like seeing these pine green fours on poison right now they got these things up for a steal but yeah huge shout out to poison sending me the sneaker of the year i've been trying to find them on so many different platforms and literally poison had the best price for these at 315 dollars but not just do they have the best prices but they also verify your product before sending it out but again huge shout out to poison if you guys want to check them out the link will be down in the description definitely hop on those coupon codes fast if you guys want those but yo let's get back into this so yeah guys i actually love this sneaker right now i did end up wearing them the other day and i don't know if it's because it's an sb or a men's size but they are so much more comfortable than the off-white fours they definitely look like they paid attention to like comfort and just like actually skateboarding like the back tab right here is like a rubbery material other than like the plasticky material that they use plus the inside of these things keep your toes all nice and warm I've been looking around for these things for a while and I'm just extremely happy that I got these in the collection The next Jordan 1 right here. We got the Jordan 1 armed forces. These are actually pretty sick Now I'm pretty sure they have two different colorways of these these things are just so dope I absolutely love these I love the little mark they have on the back of the shoe right here Usually you'd see that on like some dunks. This is actually an older pair I want to say this is from like 2007 2008 ish. I don't know exactly what type of material is on this shoe It's not like a suede or maybe it is a suede, but mine are just kind of beat up I forget if I ended up getting these before the Jordan 1 mochas, but surprisingly, I think I wear these a lot more than the mochas. I just love older Jordans, older shoes, regardless. They just look way too clean. But yo, next up, these right here, these are just sick. Now, I actually got gifted these from a YouTuber named Lamar Wilson. Super cool guy. You guys should definitely go check him out. These are actually pretty dang rare. These right here are the Jordan 1 Crackdown 3. If you guys remember the game Crackdown, Crackdown 3 released a while ago, and they ended up making a custom shoe just for the game. And that's pretty much what these are based off of. I want to say there's about 21 of these things actually in existence. So it's definitely a pretty limited sneaker. And you guys might be able to tell that they're a lot bigger than all my other shoes. That's because these things are like a size 12 and I wear a size 8. But I'm actually pretty glad that they're not my size so I don't get tempted to wear them. Because the colorway on these things are beautiful. Plus I love seeing that Xbox logo on the tongue. And of course the 3 on the back. Next up right here we got a Jordan 1 Low. I'm a huge sucker for that aged looking sole. And when I saw these I just had to have 
have them. Plus, this is actually like one of my first Jordan 1 lows in my collection. I've never wore Jordan 1 lows up until now. Like, I'm actually obsessed with how this shoe fits and how it feels. At first, I was never really huge with them until I put them on my feet. Put a nice little outfit together, and these are just, they're beautiful. They also did a great job on the material of the shoe. It has a really soft white leather with a grayish, suede-ish leather. I don't know what kind of material that is, but it's really nice. Next up right here, we got the off-white Prestos. Ever since the 10 collection came out, I've been obsessed with these. I've never owned the first off-white Prestos that dropped just because the prices on those things are extremely expensive. Plus, I don't mind buying used shoes, which I actually bought these used. I got them for a great price, but they're in like great condition. Even finding a used Presto from the 10 collection, they could have an extremely beat up pair for an extremely high price. And to be all honest, I'd rather rock a black shoe anyways, because I wear like almost 90% of my shoes. So if you notice some that might not look that clean, it's because I wear my shoes. I'm not gonna spend my money on a pair that I'm not gonna enjoy. But I do understand people buying shoes not to wear because I mean, hey, I still have a few pairs that I've never put on. Like these right here. These right here are the Nike Air Max collab with Mischief. These are called the Walk on Water or the Jesus Shoe. The story on these is Mischief actually sent these out in a mystery box, which some of you guys might have seen on the channel. Now they're supposedly actually holy water inside this air bubble right here. These things went absolutely viral when they first released. Plus you do have a Jesus pendant right here on the shoe and the little blood tab right here on the tongue of the shoe. I mean, in all reality, it is a really simple shoe. So if you like the design, of the shoe you can pretty much go buy an all-white pair of Air Max 97s but will they have holy water in the bubble no didn't think so I mean maybe if you poke a hole and then you try to squeeze some uh <laughs> Next pair right here, we got a, a pair of Yeezys. These right here are the Yeezy 500 Blush. I actually got these when they first released like a long time ago. I love the dad shoe vibes that these things give off, but at the same time, they just look super futuristic and bulky. I actually haven't worn these in a long time, which I don't know why, because they're extremely comfortable. Mine are definitely pretty beat up, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe that's why I haven't worn these in a while. Maybe if I clean them up, I'd start rocking them again. Because I mean, the detail with all the different type of material on this shoe, with the netting, the leather, and the suede, all together. It honestly is just extremely sick. But since we're on Yeezys, I gotta show you guys these. These right here are the Yeezy 700 chocolates. In my honest opinion, I think this is the best Yeezy ever made. I mean, the Yeezy 2s and 3s are actually extremely fire. But since I don't own a pair, I'm gonna say that this is one of the cleanest Yeezys out there. I just love the look of this shoe. These things with some black jeans, they just hit different. Plus I love the strap on the shoe and just the silhouette alone, I think it's extremely sick. The suede is butter on here and plus there's boost inside this shoe. Definitely gotta be one of my favorite Yeezys and I'd probably never let it go out of my collection. So yo, next up, this shoe has to be in like my top five favorite. I don't exactly have a favorite shoe. It's so hard to pick when there's so many options and colorways and then when I think I found my favorite shoe, I'll order it and then it's just not my favorite shoe. But these right here are the New Balance 999 Kennedys. Now Concept and New Balance ended up doing a collab on these and they inspired this shoe from the President Kennedy. I'm pretty sure he likes sailing and that's why they made this shoe. Now I'm pretty sure they ended up re-releasing this pair in like Complex Con or something like that. But this is the OG release. This is the first release. My pops ended up gifting these to me for a graduation gift when I graduated high school. This is one of those sneakers that doesn't stand out like crazy but if you know you know <laughs> The quality is insane on these. Concept absolutely killed it with New Balance. I feel like there's been a huge rise in New Balance shoes recently. Everyone's been rocking New Balances. Not a lot of people have been rocking the 999 silhouette, which is honestly one of my favorite silhouettes from New Balance. But yeah, these definitely gotta be in my top five. For the next sneaker, I'm extremely excited to show you because this is the shoe that like got me into just collecting what I like to collect. These right here are the Dunk Low Quarter Stacks. Now, I wanna say these released around 2014-ish. I'm pretty sure I got Got these at the skate shop premiere. I love the little 25 cent symbol on the back of the shoe. Now you can probably tell that these things are pretty beat up and that's because at the time I wasn't collecting shoes for the look or for the style or the hype or whatever. I got these dunks to skate and that's exactly what I did to these. And after I skated them, I'm pretty sure that I mowed the grass in these things and just completely beat these things into the ground. And since those things were so beat up, I'm just gonna go through all my dunks that I just completely beat into the ground. Like these right here, yeah. No. <laughs> these right here are the Dunk Low Pandas. I actually got these when they like first released. My fiance Hannah ended up gifting these to me for Christmas. And this is around where they first released. So I think she probably spent way too much on these. Because when they first released, I want to say they were going for around like $300. And then they re-released. And then 
re-released again and then they re-released about five more times after that and i think they just released them again like last week and when the don and i ended up building out the sneaker store these were the shoes that i was wearing about every day and they slowly just became my grass cutting shoes go down in the comments and let me know if you guys have ever seen a more beat pair of pandas in your life next up right here we got the dunk low oatmeal this is actually an older release i ended up picking these up at a sneaker event i think it was for like 40 or 60 bucks or something like that. I completely beat these things into the ground. It looks like the colorway of like the next nature dunk lows, but it ain't them. It's the dunk low oatmeal. I used to rock these things all the time and eventually they just became my new skate shoe. I mean, for like 40, 60 bucks, however much I got them for, that's how much I would spend on a skate shoe. And that's what I turned these things into. For the next shoe right here, we got some more dunks. These right here are the dunk low... I don't even know if these have a name. Maybe like Dunk Low Bone Mineral something or something. I have no idea. I actually ended up buying these because they looked like a Nike 6.0 that I really wanted. Plus the material on these are super nice. You got a super nice suede all around the shoe with almost this canvas material on the inside. The colorway goes crazy. White, brown, blue. Just beautiful. These things have definitely kind of been beat up. They're not as beat as some of my other shoes. I'm definitely sure these things are savable if I tried. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to put effort into trying to save these things because I'm probably just gonna end up beating these things up anyways. One thing that I do love about these dunks is the leather on the inside of the shoe. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a different leather that they usually put on the inside of these dunks. But that right there kind of wraps it up for some of my more beat up dunks. But these right here, Mm. I am obsessed with these. This is another shoe that's gonna be in my top five. These right here are extremely rare. Literally, if you go online right now to try to find these, it's borderline impossible. But the reason why I got the last shoes is because I wanted these, but then I ended up finding these. These go crazy. So these right here are the Nike 6.0 Light Stone. I'll end up putting the SKU on screen so you guys can try to find these that way. I'm pretty sure this is a women's sizing as well. The suede all around the shoe is amazing but one of my favorite parts is just seeing that 6.0 on the tongue. Nike 6.0s were pretty much dunks before they were dunks. I mean, they are still dunks, but whenever you see that 6.0 on the tongue, they're pretty old. I actually got an insane deal on these things when I got them. These are definitely going up there with my top five though. I mean, I just, I love these things. They definitely have some use to them. There is a lot of star loss, but again, gotta be one of my top fives, Nike 6.0s. Since we just talked about some 6.0s though, I do have another pair. These right here are the Nike 6.0 Air Morgan. Again, you you got the nice 6.0 on the tongue right there. They kind of look like dunks. They got a big old fat tongue on here. This tongue is a whole P H A T fat. Someone brought these things to the shop. They were brand new. They gave me a really good deal on them. And I've been just rocking these things ever since. All around the shoe is suede. Then you got the green leather Nike swoosh with the Nike on the back. And plus the heel of this shoe too is just also fat as the tongue. These things are just chunky, man. I don't know how else to explain these. They just got some big features to them, which that's okay. All right. I'm not judging you because I rocked the you all the time. Next up right here, we'll switch it up to a dunk high. I don't usually rock dunk highs too, too much. I don't have too many pairs of these. Not saying that dunk highs aren't clean, but I just don't really rock them too much. I just love dunk lows. I don't know what it is about the silhouette of dunk lows, but can't go wrong with some highs too. These right here are the dunk high premier Petoskis. I ended up getting these when the skate shop premier actually dropped these. I waited in line at their store, ended up getting these on release day. There is some pairs that have the Nike SB on the tongue and then other pairs, they have the premier. I'm pretty sure this is considered like the friends and family pair with the premiere on the tongue But not actually friends and family because I'm pretty sure the ones with the premiere on the tongue They only released them at like premiere skate shops or they might have done a few other skate shops too But on Nike they did end up dropping a pair which end up having the Nike SB on the tongue It's definitely a cool shoe though. They do have dunk low versions of these and in my personal opinion I think they could have done way better on that dunk like dude this dunk high looks amazing That like grandma's sweater material on these is just sick the inside of the shoe also has a nice fuzzy white material but the dunk lows they ain't got that. They completely redid the shoe. It's like all leather. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think they do look sick. It's just, why didn't they put this material on the dunk low? It would have been so clean. But that's the reason why I ended up getting the highs is because I love the material on these. Plus you got that P for Premier or even Petoskey. Felt like it was necessary to get these two because I live in Michigan and the Petoskey stone is like Michigan State stone. Also the back of these are 3M. It's kind of hard to see, but the pattern is like a Petoskey stone. It's really cool when you take a picture of them. Here, one second. I'm gonna take a picture just to show you guys. <laughs> 
Ooh, that looks so sick. That's how it looks when you hit it with the flash. That just looks extremely hard. Since we're on dunk highs though, I will show you a dunk high in the collection. This is actually one of my only other pair of dunk highs that I have. But these right here are pretty crazy. These right here are the dunk high reverse skunks. So back in 2010 on 420, Nike SB ended up dropping the dunk high skunks. These right here actually released recently in 2020. And this right here was the reverse skunk. Nike does some pretty cool drops for celebrating 420. And I mean, this thing is just, they're so clean. This is actually a numbered pair too. They only had 420 of these things made. And this pair right here is number 141. Pretty sick number to get. Let me show you guys the insoles on these things too. The insole goes crazy. We got that stanky skunk on the insole and my boy is just looking completely fried. I mean, that skunk definitely ate something out of the trash. It was not supposed to. And apart from all my other shoes, these ones are actually brand new. I've never wore these things. The bottoms are extremely clean and green. They used a really cool material too all around the shoe. It almost has like a joker colorway with that purple and green. It's definitely a pretty rare shoe, only having 420 of these things in existence. What's really cool too is on the inside of the tongue, it's kind of hard to see, but they put a little stash pocket in there just in case if you wanted to hide any uh, skunk food on the inside of your, what is skunk food? What? Super clean dunk high, again, reverse skunk. Next up right here, we're gonna go back into some dunk lows. These right here released pretty recently and the Drift On gifted these to me for my birthday. So shout out to him for these. This is such a sick dunk. I did end up starting to skate these because again, I just love skating dunks. And plus I feel like they look good used. There's some shoes you can put on and like use them, skate them and they don't really look that good. There's just something about dunks that you can destroy these things and they'll still look really, really cool. But yeah, we got a few more dunk clothes in the collection and when I say a few I mean like a lot more. Next up right here, these dunks are so sick. I actually picked these up recently. These right here are the Dunk Low Black Rain. I wanna say these came out around 2013. I love the brown on the inside of the shoe right here. But the reason why they're called Black Rain is you, you can see the tiny little raindrops right here on the shoe. It almost kind of looks like ostrich print in a way, but no, that's a little raindrop. It's definitely a more simple shoe, but those raindrops, uh, those hit. I actually wear these quite a bit because they go along with so many outfits that I wear. Now I'm not extremely huge on the leather that they used for this. It's a really stiff leather where like if you wear these a lot like they're gonna end up creasing pretty bad I mean the leather is kind of cool because if water gets on the leather it like comes right off so I mean you could wear these things on a rainy day and still be safe and I mean that's kind of a purpose about this shoe right they're called the black rain because you can wear them in the rain that's not the reason but that's what I'd be saying <laughs> next up right here this is a uh, pair that I am scared to wear. I wear a lot of my shoes, like almost every pair, but I don't know what it is inside me. It is just so hard to wear these things. I literally have worn these once and I just felt terrified the entire time. These right here are the Nike SB Haritos. I mean, come on. Tell me this shoe is just not beautiful. That canvas material going around the shoe. That green Nike swoosh. The green bottoms with the hint of orange. Boom! Oh! And don't even get me started with the logo on the back. And you know, I didn't even really wear these things. I tried them on and it's just it's so hard for me to wear them. Not because I couldn't match them with an outfit. I mean, shoot, the outfit that I'm wearing today could go with these. But man, I just love the look of this shoe. Like, why is that when you try a shoe on and it just kills you to wear it? I definitely think this is one of the best collabs of the year. To be honest, I think I just need to suck it up and wear them. But one day, one day I'm gonna put these on. Next up right here, we're bringing out the older SB box. These right here are the Nike SB Dunk Low Old Spice. This is more of an older release that I just been keeping super clean. I do end up wearing these things occasionally, but I've kept these things in super good condition. I think the reason why I've been obsessed with these is because I use the deodorant Fiji from Old Spice. And plus just watching those iconic Old Spice commercials as a kid, I had to pick these things up. I will tell you one thing, I hate rocking red and blue together. I just think it just does not go together. Whenever I see blue and red together, I just think of like the American flag or Superman. But I don't know what it is about this shoe. I love the blue and red together on these. The gold Nike swoosh just hits in the light and it's just such a sick dunk. And you know I love the fat tongues Next up right here, this is an extremely rare pair of dunks. And to be completely honest, trying to find these things is just so difficult. But these right here are the Dunk Low Sneakerholics. These ended up releasing in 2005. And also on the back right here in Chinese, I'm pretty sure it says, I love sneakers all around here. And it's really cool too, because all the writing is in 3M. So when you take a picture, 
I'ma just show you. Just shine a little bit of light on it and that thing just glows up like a Christmas tree. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen too, too many pairs of these in existence. And mainly because I don't think they ended up doing a US release on these. I'm pretty sure they released them in different countries, but not the US. I definitely feel like Travis Scott almost copied the vibe of these because they look really, really similar to the Phantoms. It is leather all the way around, but I mean, look it. We got white stitching all around the shoe. And from far away, you can mistake these things for the Phantoms. The insole is pretty cool too. You got the heart with sneakers in there. Now these aren't new. I do end up rocking these things. And this is 100% one of the dunks that's in my top five. Next up right here, we got another Dunk Low SB. I absolutely love these things. As soon as I bought these, I knew it was gonna be dangerous because I knew I was gonna wanna wear them all the time. And sure enough, I rock these things all the time. These right here are the Dunk Low SB Yodos. Yodos a skateboarder for SB and he absolutely shreds. He's an absolute monster. I have skated in these a tiny bit. I really try not to and I shouldn't be skating in these, but oh my God, the colorway, the suede gray all around the shoe, with like a slight tint of blue in it is just beautiful. The gray Nike swoosh, the different brown suede in the back with the hint of pink. Holy smokes, brown bottoms too? Dude, I would say this is probably one of my top fives. I feel like we're getting close to completing the top five yet, but I'm gonna I'm add them into the top five. Next pair right here, these are actually hilarious. I mean, nothing about the shoe is funny, but just the story on how I got these things is hilarious. So these right here are the Nike SB White Game Royals. These released around 2019, 2020 ish. The whole shoe is like a white cracked leather, but underneath you got blue that peeks through as you wear the shoe. So the more and more you wear them and beat them up, the more and more that blue will end up showing. This is actually my newest pickup. I got these things over the weekend. I ended up going to this Christmas store called Bronner's in Michigan. It is like one of the biggest Christmas stores I've seen in my life. I went there doing some Christmas shopping, getting some Christmas stuff. And while I was there, I saw some guy walking around with these. And I don't know what inside me made me do this. I didn't really know if he was like a sneakerhead or not. But right when I saw him, I knew that they were going to end up being around my size. I went up to him. I asked him what size they were. They're size nine. And I asked him how much it would be to buy the shoes straight off his feet. But yeah, he asked me how much. I threw him a good price and uh, I bought them. <laughs> but yeah, a guy at Bronner's, if you're out there somewhere, hit me up on Instagram or go down in the comments on this video and say what's up because this is definitely my favorite story of any shoe that I have in the collection. And yeah, thank you for the shoes again. I'm gonna be rocking these boys all the time. But yo, next up right here, we got a pink box special. These right here, I absolutely love these. I wear these things way too much. Oh my God, Pops is calling. What up? Yo, 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 what's going on? What you doing? Are you filming right now? I I'm wondering why you're on my phone. I'm asking how How's the, how's the filming doing? Good. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm, I'm stopping by. For why? You gotta quit buying sneakers. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. This is gonna be like a three hour video. You gotta stop buying sneakers. I'm trying. Start buying your dad's sneakers. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say the same exact thing to you. Stop buying sneakers. Uh, you're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> But these right here are the Nike SB Dunk Low Band-Aids. Now when I ended up doing the storage locker video, I found a pair inside the locker. They were size 11 and I just knew that I had to get a pair. I finally ended up finding a pair for myself. They are just so, so clean. It is a slightly used pair. I mean, mainly because I, I wear them all the time. I just feel like there's something so retro looking about this shoe. I love the dots going all around. All the different grays just hit on this thing. And then the dark suede on the Nike swoosh, everything just goes together so nice on these. Definitely one of my favorite Dunk Lows. I would say I'm gonna put it in the top five, but if I did, I think it would turn into the top six. Next up right here, uh, my dog ended up chewing a little bit on the box. I she almost died that day. But I thought it was okay because she didn't end up chewing on the shoes. It was just the box. But yo, check these out right here. We got the Nike SB Dunk Low Travis Scott collab. These are just dope. I'm not gonna lie. This is, he killed it on these. The cool bandana material with that like flannel material. The black Nike swoosh on one side and the pink on the other. They just did a phenomenal job designing this shoe. And these rope laces too, it just put the whole shoe together. They are pretty unique looking, but at the same time, I feel like every Everything just kind of goes into one and it just it looks dope. I actually wear these quite a bit. The cool part about these two is that bandana material. If you end up skating that, there is a layer underneath it. It's like a cool crackled type of... Yeah. I don't think I would ever end up skating these. I mean, I have been tempted to just to see that underneath, but I kind of like the bandana. I think it's cool. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks cooler without it or with it? But absolutely great collab. I'm not putting them in the top five, only because I'm not a crazy Travis Scott fan. I like his music. I just don't go like 
sucko for sicko mode, but the shoe goes hard. Next up right here, at this point, I should have just called this video my entire dunk collection because got a lot of dunks. <laughs> these right here are the Dunk Low Dusty Cactus. These are pretty unique, but at the same time, they're really cool. I do end up pulling these out every once in a while. Whatever the material they use for these kind of feels like cardboard. I don't know why. It's very like stiff and just like, I don't know. It's a super tough material they use for these shoes. Not saying I don't like it. I love when they switch up the material on dunks and just use different materials because if they use the same materials, all the dunks would look the same and feel the same. But this is definitely a shoe I had to add to the collection. Next up, we got the last pair of dunks. This right here, top five. Top six, seven, wh wherever we're at, top five. I ended up getting this dunk not too, too long ago. I've been wanting this pair for, I couldn't tell you how long. It's been such an iconic sneaker to me and I've always wanted a pair, but I would just never pay the price for them because they're just ridiculously expensive. But I understand why, because these right here are the Dunk Low Nike SB Supreme Red Cements. I mean, come on, these things are, they're insane. When they released back in 2012, people were going crazy over these. Especially Especially like the hype dunk releases. I mean, it was just, it was like the age of the dunks. But man, do I love this shoe. That gray and black cement pattern going around it. It looks so sick. And to tie it all together with the red, I mean, that just screams Supreme. Also on the insoles, it does end up spelling out Supreme, which is pretty cool. But I ended up finding these used for a really, really good price. There's definitely a lot of star loss and some heel drag starting. But let me tell you something. If I'm wearing these, you know I'm feeling myself that day. Oh, y'all, wait, hold the phone. I got one more pair of dunks. I have my light propped up up on these guys right here. Whew, these are so hard. This is another dunk that I have not worn. I would love to wear them, but it just, it would kill me to wear them. I ended up getting these for retail. These right here are the Nike SB Dunk Low Chlorophyll. I just, I think this shoe is, is beautiful. I don't know what it is about this. You got the green Nike on the back with the green Nike SB on the tongue right here. I definitely think they killed it on these. I got these back in 2020, 2021. I totally forget something like that, but just I, I've never worn them. It's just one of those shoes where I, I don't know. Next up, we got a couple more pairs that aren't some dunks finally. These right here are the Bape Skates does. I want to say the colorway on these are like a beige tan blue something i don't know i was actually on bape when they released these things picked these up for retail i just love the look of this shoe you can see all around the beige suede right here it's like an embossed bait pattern. I think the reason why I wanted to get these is because I was obsessed with these right here. And I just, I like that colorway together. If the retail price for these wasn't ridiculous, I'd have a few of these in the collection. This next pair, this is a really unique and pretty rare pair. These right here are from the brand RTFKT. They ended up doing some custom vans right here. These are called the Skull Troopers or Bone Troopers or something like that. This is actually an extremely rare pair too because RTFKT, they're like, they've been blowing up recently, but these also come with a custom dog tag that has my name on them. They ended up sending me out this pair right here, which on the other side, you got Bone Trooper. To be honest, I have no idea what the value would be on these. It's definitely pretty rare, but something that's really unique that there's no market to these, I think. I really have no idea how many pairs there are that exist, but they're definitely pretty sick. Next up right here, this is a really cool slide. This is a slide that I actually designed myself. Well, I mean, not technically. <laughs> I had AI create one of the most hyped slides out there. We're like right here, we got the Off-White X. And this right here is from a Jordan 4. We also got the silhouette of a Yeezy slide. And yeah, I pretty much told AI to combine all those things. And this is what it came up with. And then I ended up reaching out to Seth Fowler, which if you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, you should definitely go check it out. But he ended up helping me 3D print this shoe. And to be honest, these things are actually super comfortable. We ended up only printing out one, but it was definitely a fun project to work on. And I think they turned out sick. Plus we got the little Connor TV logo on there they just they look so so cool now that wraps it up for a lot of my personal pairs but let me show you guys what else we got we also got all these shoes over here at the shop now these right here some of these are my personal pairs but but for the most part we got all these shoes up for sale right now in the shop like these Crenshaw dunks right here these things are my size and I swear I might end up just rocking these one day they're brand new I might just end up pulling them off the shelf and then putting them on feet because they're so clean we also got these right here I've been showing a ton of dunks all day but these right here are the dunk glow Jedi's these right here are size 11. I wish these things were my size. I'm not gonna lie, I did end up wearing these once, but uh, they, 
they don't fit. I mean, it's a size 11. These right here are the Yeezy 350 Pirate Blacks. This is like the first release. I want to say these came out in like 2015 or so. These things are so clean. And to be honest, these things are like barely worn. I never really used to rock them that much. I just wanted to keep them as clean as I could. Then we got some more dunks, like some off-white dunks right here. University Red. Some off-white lock dunks. These things are insane. Got some more Yeezys right here. Ton of Jordan 4s. Jordan 3s. Jordan 1s. Gosh, looking at these mochas right here, I completely trashed mine like these they look so clean brand new and mine they just look very trash got some bangers on here too like the off-white jordan ones the unc colorway these are just insane i absolutely love these here's another personal pair that i ended up hitting for retail like way back then these are the dunk high somps stand on my pedal i want to say these released in about like 2016 2015 ish these are super clean you got the chrome on the nike swoosh all suede around the shoe also with this like ostrich leather i don't even know if that's ostrich or what that is it almost looks like a frog pattern got some protection pads new balance right here i absolutely love these things the different material all over the shoe and that blue like almost like a rough cut all the way around the shoe it just looks so sick i absolutely love these this is also a personal pair of mine that i kind of don't want to even have up at the shop but i think it looks cool on the shelves these right here are the fear of god vans i think i actually got these out of a mystery box or something i have no idea i'm not gonna lie this could be close to top five or nine or whatever we're at at this point but i mean hey it's at the shop right now so i'm not even gonna put it in that list but these are super super cool i love the fear of god laces that they have on them too we also got these right here these are the jordan one pentacles they had to make a cool little display for these in the shop all the gold around the shoe is actually 24 karat plated gold the quality and the leather of these shoes are just unreal they are my size so i, I i've been tempted to wear them but at the same time they're a little pricey to wear <laughs> it comes with a really cool gold card along with the shoe plus a dust bag but this is such a sick jordan one that i just i love plus they're like brand new and it's tough to wear a brand new shoe when yeah these are super unique and cool too these are the jeremy scotts these released a while ago this is just such a unique shoe i'm pretty sure they had these on in like the movie percy jackson jeremy scott ended up doing a collab with adidas and these things just turned out so sick the gold on these is unreal i don't know if i would ever wear these or not but it's just it's so cool this is like a red carpet shoe and then yo check these out right here i might end up taking these things off the shelf and wearing them i absolutely love this shoe these right here are the dunk low cacaos yo that age sole that they have have going on i absolutely love that these things are my size and it would just go along with all the shoes that i have in the collection so i might end up having to pull the trigger on these guys and just taking them down from the shelf and rocking them so guys that right there is gonna wrap it up for the sneaker collection i hope you guys enjoyed this i know this is probably a long video if you guys wanted to come to the shop definitely do so the address is 34781 grand river ave farmington michigan but yo go down in the comments and tell me what your favorite shoe was but as always guys i love you so much i'll see you in the next one Deuces.